never change up. Let's get that understood. I'm in that 70805, ain't no so love in my hood. I ain't never change up. Let's get that understood. I'm in that 70805, ain't no so love in my hood. YouTube, what it do, man? Y'all already know who I am. Man, man, ground hard, checking in again with another video. And today, I got a special little video for y'all, right? Now, before I get into this video, I'm doing the giveaway, all right? Now, listen, my Instagram weak as fuck. I ain't got no followers on Instagram. So, listen, I need 2,000 followers on Instagram, right? So, listen, as soon as I reach 2,000 followers on Instagram, I'll be giving away a $100 Microsoft card or PSN card for y'all to get some V-Bucks if y'all want to pre-order 2K18 or 2K, what, 2K18? If y'all want to pre-order 2K19, whatever you want to do with it, you feel me? I give away a $100 uh, Microsoft PSN uh, or PayPal cash out. I'm giving away $100, all right? As soon as I reach 2,000 followers. And all you got to do is just follow me on Instagram, you feel me? My Instagram is the same thing as my YouTube, Men Man Ground Hall, all together. Request to follow me. I'm accepting everybody. I might even follow a few of y'all back. Now, let's get into the video. Basically, what I want to talk to y'all about is 2K19 shot meter, right? Now, listen. Yesterday, they had a big event in Greece. Big event. <laughs> That's funny. They had the event in uh in Greece yesterday where they announced the cover athlete of 2K19. We already knew who the cover athlete was, uh, because it 2K leaked it. 2K had already leaked it, so we already knew. So that wasn't really pretty much no news or whatnot. But Mr. Mike Wayne himself, Mr. 2K19 Twitter fingers. Mike Wayne been on Twitter for the last few months, giving out a lot of info regarding 2K19. Now a lot of y'all probably seen some of these. Some of these uh, polls that he put on Twitter, a lot of y'all probably have. And that's another thing. Y'all follow me on Twitter as well. Some of y'all might have seen some of the polls. Some of y'all might not, not have. But I haven't addressed the polls, right? Now, if you take a look at Mike Wayne's Twitter, Mike Wayne put up a poll and asked, like, what's the best shot meter, 2K16, 17, or 18? Now, in my honest opinion, I didn't have a problem with 2K17 shot meter. I just thought it was real plain. I didn't. I love the way 2K16 shot meter look. I really don't have a problem with 18 shot meter. Now, for as 2K19 shot meter, now this is my opinion, right? Now, I know a lot of y'all gonna probably try to crucify me for what I'm about to say, but just hear me out. On 2K16, I shot the best I've ever shot before on 2K when I turned the shot meter off, right? When I could not see the feedback of the shot meter. I shot the best when I turned the shot meter off and just put it on uh, feedback, right? At first, I played with it completely off, but I wanted to know when my shots was green, so I put it on shot feedback. And that's basically when I take a shot, the shot meter don't come up until after I release the shot. It showed me where I released the shot at. I put on shot feedback and that's when I realized it was broke. Like it was completely broke. I missed so many green, so many shots that should have turned green, that didn't turn green, they didn't turn green. So it was, it was just bad, bro. So 2K16 probably had the broken shot meter, but it looked the best. 2K17 is pretty much the same thing. You feel the ball all the way up and it don't turn green. It's like the most annoying thing in the world but the shot meter was bigger i feel like it was better than what 2k 16 shot meter was but it was just, it was plain 2k 18 is pretty much kind of like how 2k 17 was it's better but it's just i just we just don't understand it like 2k 16 i guess we just we just never could understand how we supposed to release the shots to get green like sometimes you can release it slightly earlier to turn green Sometimes you release a slightly later turn green. When you release it right on the line, it don't turn green. Same thing with 17 to 18. You fill up the shot meter, it don't turn green. So it's like, where do you find that? Ba How do you find the balance? Because it's so inconsistent. My thing with 2K19, I hear me out on this. I wouldn't have a problem if there was no shot meter in the game, right? And the reason why I say it is, it don't matter. The best shooters on the game, they don't even pay attention to the shot meter. The shot meter only adds a headache to the game. And if you think about it, think just imagine, right? If you was one of them players that shoot all the time and got a hella green lights and you miss those shots, bro, it it pisses you off. It just pisses you off. Now, when you shoot a, a, a full white and you miss, you get pissed off because it didn't turn green, but at the same time, it ain't the same as shooting a perfect shot and you not making that shot. Just imagine playing the game and you shooting a shot a great shot and it just don't fall that's basketball every shot not gonna go in we get that so if it, there's no shot meter for you to judge how do you release your shot then it eliminates that headache of thinking like man that shot should have went in and you know what i'm saying how many times you've been playing the game and somebody take a dumb shot in the game they feel like it should have went in it didn't go in they don't even get back and play defense sometimes they quit it's like 
at that point, it just pissed you off so much, it's not even about the game no more. So if you eliminate like the actual shot mid and the shot feedback, then there's nothing to complain about. You know what I'm saying? And we all know like on 2K19, Mike Wayne said he gonna address the open shots and the contested shots. Let's break down what open shots and contested shots on 2K this year is. Open shots, of course, you open, but you miss a lot of them bitches. Slightly contested, that's the same thing as open on 2K. It don't matter. Lightly contested really means nothing. Heavily contested is really lightly contested. The only time a shot, in my opinion, I feel like it's a heavily contested shot based on the game is if you got two to three people jumping at you. That's the only time you're going to get a bad, bad release. It ain't turning green. And it, hey, matter of fact, it sometimes it might even still turn green. But for the most part, if a defender jump at you and you got dead eye, it's going to turn green if you know your shot. You know what I'm saying? And it's just 2K. It's not supposed to be like that, but... Hey, that's just what it is. I feel like, in my opinion, if I'm if I'm crowding a defender and he take a dumb shot, it should never, ever, ever turn green. Never. You need, you have to have space. I get it if the player get a little bit of space and he's a great shooter, he can get that shot out. But if I'm crowding, if I'm crowding my the person that I'm that I'm guarding and, and I can jump and contest the shot and he get a lightly contested and sometimes even wide open, like it should never turn green. It should never say lightly contested or open. It should always be heavily contested, and that percentage of that shot should be bad. So they're supposed to be addressing that on 2K19. And then another thing is, like, some people look at the shot meter. I, I never have looked at the shot meter. The great shooters look at their players. The thing I liked about 2K15 over all these 2Ks is when you released a shot on 2K15, when you went up to take a shot, you knew what animation you was going to get. It was, it was super consistent. From the layups to the free throws to the, to the drifting shots, Spin jumpers, it what you knew what type of animation you was gonna get in every situation. 2K16, that's when they started. You didn't you didn't know what was gonna happen. You had no idea what was gonna happen when you went up for a shot. You could catch the ball wide open. 2K16 was so bad it got to the point to where you had to stand in the corner and whole circle, a whole B. Like you taking a charge. That way when you catch the ball, you don't move. You know what I'm saying? Like you shouldn't have to do that. Like if I'm just standing still. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of y'all play pro and y'all just be standing calm. When you standing still, there's no reason why once you catch the ball, you, you're taking a drifting shot or you're taking a can animation shot. And that's the thing with the shot timing on the previous 2Ks. You never knew what animation you were going to get. So if your muscle memory is programmed to release the shot a certain type of way when you're standing still because you anticipating a certain animation and you don't get that animation, then it's going to be frustrating because you're not going to release the shot the same way you usually would. It's harder to know that timing. And then that's when the shot meter come in, in effect. And, then, and another thing with the shot meter that, that I feel like if there is a shot meter in the game or if they're going to add a shot meter in the game, like, I feel like when it's green, it's supposed to be an automatic switch. It shouldn't hit the rim, bounce around the backboard, none of that. It should automatically go in. You know what I'm saying? That should be 100%. Now, now the difficulty of getting green, I, I feel like you should increase that. There shouldn't be so many with slightly early or slightly late shots. Now, I feel like if you shoot a, a slightly early or slightly late shot, I feel like then the percentage of it going in, you know, that's when it should bounce around the rim or do something like that. Super late shots, when you release the shot too late or too early, it shouldn't go in. Like, it's like a snowball chance in hell. That shot shouldn't go in. But when it's, it's damn near on that meter, like, that's when it get into the, the area where it, it's a pro, it's a possibility that it you could miss it and you could make it. You don't know. But when it's green, you should automatically know, hey, this shot going in. That's cash. You know what I'm saying? But if you eliminate the shot meter, then you ain't got to worry about none of that. You just, hey, you just looking for them key points and you releasing your, your shot at a certain point. And your timing, your muscle memory, it'll, it'll start taking effect rather than you paying attention to the shot meter every time. Because really, to be honest, it takes no skill to look at a meter and, and know, okay, once the meter fill out the way up, release it. Then, at that point, what are you playing the game for? You know, it's a basketball game. So, that's my opinion on it. Now, what do I, am I saying I feel like 2K should completely take the shot meter out the game? No. I, I, I feel like there should be some type of feedback. And my thing is, if you're going to put a shot meter in the game, 
at, at least make it mimic what my player is doing. You know what I'm saying? Let it mimic what my player is doing. At my highest point, my shot, and when I release it, it should be green. That's that's a regular jump shot. Or if I got a standing shot, once my my <laughs> my arm is extended with the flick of the wrist, that's when it should go green. If I release it when when I'm still rising and and I haven't flicked my wrist yet, that's that's you shooting it too early. You know what I'm saying? Like it should mimic that. If it's not gonna mimic that, then do a, do away with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, for as what shot meter to put in the game, if you are going to use a shot meter this year, to me, it don't matter. Whatever shot meter you put in the game, just make it work. You know what I'm saying? Make it work because, to be honest, we haven't had really a real consistent shot meter ever on 2K. They've got, gotten better before as a consistent shot, back, shot meter to where if you was one of them players that you wanted to look at the shot meter every time you shot, and released it when it got to the very end. We haven't had one of those type of shot meters in NBA 2K. We haven't. You know what I'm saying? And look, let me know what y'all think about in the comment section. In my opinion, I, I I could care less whether it's a shot meter in the game. Like I said, in 2K16, I use shot feedback. So once I released it, then I saw a shot meter. I didn't see a shot meter while I was taking the shot. And it was the same for 2K17. Uh, shot feedback on 2K17 wasn't as effective as it was on on 2K16 because you could be taking a shot and the shot meter will come up and and because it's feedback, not necessarily the jump shot, it will be kind of laggy. So I couldn't use it on 2K17, 18. I just completely just left the, the shot meter on. But yeah, let me know what you think about in the comment section. What should they go in the direction of shot meter? I wouldn't care if they took it out the game. You know what I'm saying? And give us some other type of way to know when we release when we should release the shot. But look, that's pretty much all I got for y'all, boy. Let me know what y'all think about in the comment section, man. Man, man, ground hard checking up out of here. Watch your mouth, no dissing me. You know we all saw it. You say I'm fake, that's your opinion. That's just you all story. Just face the fact I was y'all blessing, but y'all ignored it. Your quest for fame had you distorted. Not accepting.